Hi, tonight we're going to talk about the topic of whether driver's licenses uh, should be available to young people who drop out of high school. Uh, several states, I think it's six, are considering proposals to prevent uh, young drivers from driving uh, if they drop out of high school. Uh, the logic behind this is that driving is a privilege, not a right, and that uh, by preventing children who drop out from driving, the people under the age of 18, uh, they will encourage them to complete high school, and it's an appropriate incentive. Um, I think these proposals are misguided. Uh, the right-privilege uh, dichotomy is one that largely exists in the minds of, of, of legislatures. Uh, driving is a privilege only to the extent that we seek to regulate conduct uh, for the public safety. And we have to remember that the primary reason we regulate driving is for the public safety. When you take something like a driving or any other licensure and stack upon, on it a lot of terms and conditions that have nothing to do with driving, uh, you tend to erode the principal purpose of having uh, regulation of driving and you tend to create problems for citizens that wouldn't otherwise exist. I think people are wrong if they believe that uh, in some large measure, substantially they can change the number of dropouts by denying uh, people the right to drive, let's say between the ages of 17 and 18, or between the ages of 16 and 18, if they're not enrolled in an academic program. Uh, one of the problems is, um, some of these things would punish students for being advanced. For example, a student who leaves high school and enters college uh, at 17 uh, before graduation would be a high school dropout, unable to get a driver's license. Uh, but even if you assume that many uh, young people are dropping out of school, there's nothing unnatural about that. Historically, 25% uh, to a third of students have been unable to complete high school. And throughout much of our history, this wasn't really bad news because those students uh, would go to work in farms or they'd go to work in, in, you know, in industrial capacity or they'd, uh, or they'd find work elsewhere. What makes it very difficult for young people now, of course, is that there aren't uh, enough jobs for them. But does it make sense? But if you deny people a driver's license, would it really increase in some significant way the number of students that are completing high school? Uh, I don't really think that would happen. Uh, what I do think would happen is it would create particular kinds of problems in mobility and the ability to have a job. Some of these young people are quitting schools because they need to help support their families or, or, or they simply don't fit into school. Uh, there are many st students who are just, you know, not ready or not fit or not temperamentally uh, uh, capable of uh, finishing an academic program. But also the schools themselves are to blame for this. Uh, they have increasingly made it their goal not to ensure that everyone have an education, but have designed testing regimes and, and academic requirements that are particularly geared and to guarantee that increasing number of students fail every year. And I think it's highly cynical to keep uh, moving the goalposts by redefining what's required to get a diploma and then punishing the students when they don't uh, meet the standards set by that removed goalpost. I think uh, that we really need to leave the driver's license alone. It needs to be uh, uh, associated with a driving privilege and providing for public safety. And we need to look at directly related educational uh, considerations to deal with how to improve high school graduation.